Here we go. I have no idea why they let us take control of all this again, but these guys are going to put on a great show. Got great pushes from both lines right there. And it's something Order we see right in the beginning covered. of this race is that you have some very strong Walk competitors. Those top two cars are all won a lot of races this year already. Pull and two back, two by two. Hanging on your quarter. It's definitely one thing we learned there. at the all Shore race with us on these restarts. It's so important. It, it really makes you think about Daytona, Talladega. Whoa, Ooh. got a little action already here, boys. That's four wide, huh? Told you. Again. But you really have to focus and, and make sure that you have those cars behind you because you're only as good on these starts as the car behind you. But here we're going to see a replay of the 9 and the 22. And you see the oh, 9. He, just, he drove in that corner pretty hard. Well, 22 was clearly, you know, had his hands full, was yeah. was lying on his feet already, and uh, the nine didn't give him. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh. There you see. Uh, that might be a game there. changer for today, boys. I need to be. Uh oh, got trouble here. Caution, got a caution. Out, guys. And we see the six. Water out of the tailpipes yeah. is never good. Oh. Oh, got some obviously some, some fluid material on the track. Yep. Get it. Three or four guys got it there. You know, you can see the damage, I think, on the front right there. Christopher Bell is going to win the stage. And what a close ending. Eight closed up so much. Those top three cars are stacked right on top of each other. Oh, Whoa, oh. That Woo. is an unbelievable save right that there. That's really good. Welcome back to Charlotte Motor Speedway, and we are under caution, and this is why. We've seen Austin Cindric have a handful today, and finally he Ran out of steering wheel on this one and, and you know, he saved the car, around. Kevin. I mean, he did save definitely the car. had his hands full all day long, but uh, um, he's going to live to see a, another another chance at it at least. Uh, definitely wants some new tires, some more adjustments on that car, and he'll get him right here because he kept it out of the wall. Oh, Ooh. that guy does some damage. We see this the 68 in the wall there just got loose. 20 car oh, in man. the wall. That's a second place car, guys. He's yeah, slowed he's, up a lot. He's off time. the pace. Oh, this is he's got hard into the down. wall. Yeah, I, I'd say. He's still green here yet. He's got the right side trouble. heavy, guys. Yeah. Be ready. He's At least right. Broken ball joint, too. I'd say they're days. Oh, they're the 19th in the wall. Same thing. Right front, big front, front. Two Gibbs cars. Like that, you gotta wonder if it's a, is a setup it, on the final lap of the stage. Here, you see the 20 stayed out, uh, yeah, he did. rolling around on that right front tire. You hope that tire doesn't come apart because that's really good at the end of your day. So, interesting strategies where the 19 pitted, the 20 stays out on the, and they both have right front tires down. And here you see Tyler Reddick making it happen, getting that stage win. Tyler Reddick gonna win the stage, had zero problems, and has one wow. stage to his third stage win this season. How oh, interesting. Within what, a half a lap? Oh, oh there man. it goes. And see, Brandon Jones, in my opinion, did the right thing. Come to pit road, take your medicine, because when the, when the right front tire blows and starts ripping the fender off. You're going to pay the price. That's, that's when your day is over, when the fender's gone. And we have fire here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. And this fire is probably going to end Christopher Dale's, Bell's day, I would say. Wouldn't you guys? Yeah, catastrophic. Uh, you know, it's interesting that the call that they made. Yeah, you can see it right there and getting out of the car. Their day is over. Uh, blown tire. Crazy. Both teammates within what? A half of a lap? Within a lap of the uh, end of the stage? What a wild ending. But, oh man, he's, he's already in the early. ball there. Some, it's hard to it's say from be, that angle. You think, could there have been something on the track? I mean, everybody was running on the outside. It is interesting that both of those are team cars. <laughs> See the 23 of John Hunter Nemechek getting the wall right there. Let's see what happened way over here. Oh, that's just, loose. It's getting loose. That's entering high. You want to enter as high as you oh. possibly can to get right next to that wall to try to get the benefit. Um, but well, then he was trying to. It looks like he was trying to get to pit road, and the 10 of Austin Dillon got in the back of him. Guys, I'm wondering, is that a product of maybe that traction compound maybe wearing out? Is, is that what we're seeing? And that brings a we're caution. We got a, out. Yeah. We've got a caution. Here's a replay of the 23 again. He just gets a little high, gets into the wall. Uh, Bubba, what do you got down there? 
Yeah, like you guys seen, it looks like I got a little loose end. Uh, looks like they're only going to do rights only, pull some fenders, make sure everything's clear from tire clearance. But uh, having a strong day, I don't. Hopefully, it wasn't my jinx, but uh, young driver rookie strikes overstepped it a little bit. But off they go. Not nothing bad. Didn't pull too many fenders there. And bend down. Oh, and, and here you see him spinning out, uh, which is going to draw the caution, which is good for him uh, to be able to hopefully. Leader into three. Here's the third Gibbs car with a flat tire today. Uh, kind of unbelievable. Uh, Christopher Bells did. You can see him in the back picture there. Just slid up and couldn't keep it out of the wall. Um, pretty significant, you know, damage to the right side there. And it's such a fine line in how hard you can drive it in the corner when you're running that high. And, and be able to, to not slide the thing into the wall and how much throttle you have to use. It's, it's just, it's such a, such a fine line. And here's the thing about running the wall. The car doesn't drive the same every time you get there, right? There, there's always something a little different. Your tire heat might be a little different. So you gotta go, <laughs> Man, my man's gonna be in the right spot. Well, you see how slick it is. When we come back to Charlotte, we'll see what happens. Welcome back to Charlotte, and we talked about Austin Dillon struggling with the uh, crush panel being knocked out and everything that was going on inside his car. And we see Daniel Hemrick ready to get it, get in the 10 car. He's getting in. And carbon monoxide poisoning is no joke, man. That's that's nothing you really want to mess with. This is a surprising move by RCR, if you ask me, to put your other driver that you have racing tomorrow in the Coke 600 into a car that you know is having some carbon monoxide problems. Uh, yeah, if, I, if I have a horse out of the race, I ain't putting my only other horse to back in the race. I was nah, I'm, I'm done. But uh, that's what they did. And, you know, and carbon monoxide, you talk about that. You don't know that you're getting that, right? It's not like you can just smell that or whatever else. And if they finish second, I would call that a win. Cole Custer's in the fence. Uh, it's definitely got something broke now. He's on the right front That's now. both teammates there. I was watching Cole. He was really, really flirting with that wall. Very, very close to it. And looks like he finally got into it. And I mean, at this point, he's he's won a couple races and waves as we have one lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. He's just cruising. He's taking that white flag. You know how good it feels to take that white flag because you know if the caution comes out, you All got clear. it in the book. That's what you want to hear. That's right. Way back. Just he went to the home, bottom baby. that time. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And as he comes off at of turn four, he's going to collect his fifth series win. Just 23 year old Tyler Reddick. What a day. Great race. Those guys did a great job. Great off. race. Deserving winner. In order to drive this car. Thank you guys so much. Yep, we're down here in victory lane. Tyler Reddick about to climb out of the car after an impressive day here at a hot and slick Charlotte Motor Speedway. Getting the celebration going. <laughs> He's gonna take a celebratory drink. <laughs> a big celebratory drink. Tyler, what an impressive day, man. What kind of statement does this make, switching teams and coming back and putting on a dominant performance like this today? Well, it's hats off to all of Richard Childress Racing. We were pretty good going into the two off weeks, but we weren't really happy with where we were, and they worked really hard. We worked on a couple things, and it's been really good ever since we came back to Charlotte. I'm just so pumped. Just by all the work ethic, all the guys back at the shop, the guys here with me today, they just worked their tail off on our Team the Beast Chevrolet, and... Hold it, held off Justin Allgaier, who's very hard to beat, and uh, one at Charlotte, a place you used to hate. <laughs> That's right. How about tomorrow, though? You got the day off. You going to do some hydrating? Well, I heard there's a tailgate around 11 o'clock, uh, so who knows? I'll probably do some dehydrating with some twisted tea. <laughs>